Hi, and welcome to Air Engine Research. I'm in the process of building a compressed air engine that I will be putting in my car to replace the gasoline engine. For you new subscribers, the design is as above, and I have already made parts and have been in the process of building. I'm back in the shop now. I've been out uh, for a few days. Actually, last Friday, I uh, had an episode with AFib, heart flutter, and I ended up going to the emergency room. And then this past Monday, I went into the hospital and had the shock treatment done to get it back into rhythm. But that's over now, so I'm gonna have to get with it. Uh, the last time when I ran the engine, I saw a few problems that I'm going to have to work on. The uh, number one and number four, when I made these, I wasn't careful enough, I guess, and I didn't get the tapped holes for the cylinders in there straight. So the cylinders were leaning to the side on both the number four and number one, which was binding up and then when it tried to run you could see it doing that flop flop and part of it was timing with the valve heads which I still don't know exactly how to time it with the way that the engine runs with the orbital I'm not sure exactly where top dead center is and where do a bottom dead center is so that's going to be something after I get the, the heads worked on, get the cylinders back in it, and then I can start trying to do the timing on it. I also had a little problem I realized with the cylinder itself. This is a tubing I thought that I'd be able to use, but when you use a, a pipe tap, the size of the pipe is considerably different. So I'm going to have to redo the, the four cylinders also to fit properly in the tapped holes. That's something I'll be working on today, probably later in the afternoon. But my first concern is to get these heads off and see about getting them either fixed or I'll have to make two new heads. I ordered some more material and I got it yesterday afternoon, so I will be able to make new if I need to. Um, what else is there maybe? I've had some uh, suggestions that maybe I need to have a flywheel on it. Well, I don't really have a flywheel, but I do have a ring that I put on it that will be able to let me turn it by hand too when I need to turn it or whatever to work on it. So I'll use that for that. And we'll see if it helps or not. I'm hoping that these four rings, they're steel and they're fairly heavy. And actually they go in a circle, which would be basically a flywheel. So I don't really think I'll need a flywheel, but just to be safe and, you know, I could be wrong. So we'll see how that works. Um, I guess for now, I'll go ahead and shut this off and do some work. 